Well, tonight, the state insurance commissioner is telling us all options are on the table as tens of thousands of homeowners are losing their insurance or being priced out of the market. Our Becca Habegger joins me now, and I know you actually spoke to the commissioner about this ongoing crisis yeah. following the wildfires. Yeah, we don't. he held a meeting tonight in Placer County. It was his second stop in a town hall tour of fire-prone counties. He was in El Dorado County last week. We were there. We covered that. But tonight's meeting comes on the heels of an open letter from a watchdog group which claims he's not doing all of he can to help homeowners. Economic effect is having... Hundreds of people packed Placer Hall at the Gold Country Fairgrounds in Auburn to hear from Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara. There are people like Craig Casey, whose insurance carrier of more than 20 years dropped him and his wife earlier this year, even after they cleared trees and bushes from around their home to protect it from wildfires. They're now cobbling together insurance from two different carriers and paying more than three times what they used to. It's unfortunate. We need insurance, so we have to pay it. appreciate that insurance companies are in the business to make money, but they are taking full advantage of this fire situation in the state as far as I'm concerned and I want to know what he can do about it. An advocacy group called Consumer Watchdog wants to know too. They say Commissioner Lara should require homeowners insurance companies to provide mitigation discounts to homeowners who make investments in hardening their home. Kind of like giving an auto insurance discount to safe drivers and Lara agrees. Why can insurance companies provide these discounts and it also incentivizes good behavior which is exactly what we want uh, but right now we don't have the authority to force them and meaning the insurance companies to write in, in these communities but consumer watchdog says Laura does have the authority as insurance commissioner you have broad power that you are not using to prevent insurance companies from unfairly penalizing homeowners you could take the route of emergency regulations if it came to that absolutely we're open to everything we're open to emergency regs, we're, work, we're open to legislative uh, solutions. Everything's on the table, like I said. Uh, the need is, is great. I really think that until the insurance companies learn how to play fair in this, in this environment, that something needs to be done. It's interesting how his tone changed once you pointed out you do have some things that you can do. Yeah, that's true. Obviously, he wants to go through the state house first, but it could be on him if he passes those emergency regulations. And, you know, Commissioner Lara does have more of these town halls coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, next month, there's one in San Bernardino, Calaveras, and Butte counties. And, Chris, take a look. Tomorrow, there mm -hmm. will be a town hall in Tuolumne County. It's happening at 6 p.m. in Sonora at Opera Hall. That is a good point, Becca. We thank you. Keep in mind, we also have this information on our website, ABC10. Dot com.